Gerrymandering is, is a severe problem because it basically makes our elections undemocratic and it's becoming more prevalent, more severe. It's not really a partisan issue at all. It shouldn't be seen that way. It should be seen as a, a, an issue where you have the interests of the voters against the interests of the politicians that, that don't want the voters to be in charge. In 2004, I argued a case in the Supreme Court. We got four votes for saying gerrymandering is unconstitutional and actionable. Uh, the fifth vote was Justice Kennedy who set the challenge to everybody who wants to do something about gerrymandering to come in with a better way of measuring it. And that's where the efficiency gap comes in. The case I'm arguing this in the Supreme Court on, on October 3rd is called Gill versus Whitford. And it's a challenge to the Wisconsin Assembly map, which uh, we say is a very severe gerrymander. How do you gerrymander? How do you make the outcome unfair to one party? Well, you take their voters, the, un the disfavored party, and you pack them into a few districts where they might be 80 or 90 percent blue. Cracking, you try to spread them out so that they have lots of voters in each of the districts, but never quite enough to carry the district. The efficiency gap works by measuring the packing and cracking. You do that by saying, let's look at all the, the wasted votes of the two parties. Wasted votes defined as, in a district that party's going to win, all the voters above 50%. In a district that party is going to lose all the voters that are in that party. And you can do the same for the other party, obviously. You subtract one from the other and put it over in a fraction over the total number of votes and that produces a percentage. It allows you to compare maps across the country and going back decades into history and figure out where does this one really rank in terms of how bad it is. A professor ran the efficiency gap on 200 randomly generated maps and compared it with a map we're challenging in court. All the random maps are way over here in terms of their degree of bias, much closer to partisan fairness or symmetry, and the, Act 43 is way over here. So the geography of where people live is not driving the gerrymander. One of the things about going into the Supreme Court is you really don't know in advance how uh, your arguments are going to play, but I'm hopeful that uh, we have enough now to convince a majority of the justices that it's time to draw a line on gerrymandering.